Not happy. On your mark. Edit that bit out. Here we go. So we're underway. The pacemaking will be done by Eric Sawinski, who is, uh, as we know, as experienced as it comes at this level. Julia Rank as well will also be doing his bit of pace making. That world record stands. You'll be able to keep an eye on the pacing in the left-hand side of the screen. 330.60. Absolutely astonishing still to think that's the world record. I can't even think about it being under 3.30. But so much faith in these two pacemakers. So much so, these were the two men who took Inga Britson to that world record last year. And he's asked them to be here again to help his attempt. He's won this race on the previous two occasions. And look at that pacemaking. They were asked to do 27.57 seconds for the first 200 metres. Stretch the race out. Absolute precision. Yep, spot on from Julian Rank, who's got the first part of the pacemaking duty. So Inga Brixton has managed to stretch them out a little bit at the moment. It is the World Under-20 champion over 3K, McKenna Aziza of Ethiopia, the one who's closest to the coattails of Inga Brixton at the moment. And then Charles Grethen of Luxembourg. A few other athletes in behind will be getting towed along to possible lifetime best performances at the moment as well. But keep an eye on those lights on the inside as well, because those blue lights, the front end of them, that is that world record pace. The green lights behind the second set of lights, sorry, the red lights, I should say, behind our French national record pace. Well, the pacemakers were asked to do 27.5 seconds for that first 200 metres and then go for six to six and a half laps at 28 seconds. And that second circuit was 28.04. That one was 28.00. Could you get any better pacemakers than these two men currently? Well, as you can see at the top of that scrap scarce caption, bottom left, pace at the moment is right there on the 3.29, 3.30 barrier. Ranks pacemaking duties will be done shortly as he steps aside and now it's over to Eric Sawinski for the next part of the race. Inga Brixton at the moment, the only one able to keep up with this possibly world best ever performance pace at the moment. Still as easy of Ethiopia, best of the rest. But that pace at the moment, Sawinski dipping, digging deep in the last few strides of his pacemaking duties. And it's all about Inga Brixton now. Nobody else in the world could even pace him this far. It was a European record in 2021. It was a world record in 2022. What are we going to have in 2023? Well, with two laps to go, he's just slipping behind it at the moment, but can he inject it again? Jakob Inga Brixen now, he's got to do all the work himself. The rest of the pack now have been overhauled by Azadine Habs, who's moved back into second position, chasing that French national record. But Inga Brixen still at the moment has got a bit to find. He needs to get back to those blue lights at the front of that wave light technology. Well, we're not used to seeing this. Inga Brixen is struggling a little bit, but he'll rally. He'll try and find something now, this last 200 metres. It looks out of reach at the moment, unless Jakob Inga Brixen really can find something else. But maybe we are just seeing those few weeks of lost training have an impact here. Here as he starts to find it tough in the second half of the race. It's still going to be right up there in some of the fastest performances we've ever seen. Azadine Habs is being roared on by the French crowd as well towards that French national record. It's not going to be this time for Jakob Ingebrigtsen in the world record stakes, but it's another supreme performance for him in Le Van once again. 3.32.4, the fastest time in the world this year. It's going to be close for Habs for that French national record. He was looking for 3.34.7, but Jakob Inga Brixen again 332.4 the type kind of time people would beg